What up, big time gang? Welcome back to another Tommy Big Time video. So this one here is a, a treat to me. The homie hooked it up. So Mr. Uh, John Gangi, or uh, um, I think it's uh, Ganji? No, Ganji. John Ganji is how you really say it. We all call him John Gangi. John Gang Gang Gangi hooked it up. With this bad boy here, meteorite subbuckle specialty on a strap. Nice, supple silicone strap. Strap's going to go away. We'll do a whole separate video on that one when I get the bracelet. But a uh, beautiful watch. The only downside, the only flaw with this watch that I think is a flaw is the Z60. Um, I'm not against the Z60. I think Invicta uses it way too much in their watches. And this is a watch that should have been automatic. If it would have automatic, it would have been stellar. But it is what it is. It's a Z60, but it's a meteorite dial. I've always wanted a Swaco Specialty meteorite. John gave me the homie discount, hooked me up. Shout out to John. And um, I really, really dig the piece. It is super nice looking. Really clean and crisp. And wait till you see it, what I have planned for it. It's going to be even on another level. It's going to look super great. So anyways, if you're interested in uh, seeing more on this watch, I'll flip you over to this side of the table and we'll get right into it after the intro. Dun, dun, dun. The Meteorite Subaqua Specialty. Look at those striations, man. That thing is so good. That's one thing I love about the Meteorite dials. It's just the um, the striations are all different. You know, each piece is a one of one uh, sliver cut from a Meteorite. And so every single one is different. And look at that one. It has great details. This looks so dope. Now this one on the back doesn't say that it's uh, real. So I have no idea if this is a, a fake meteorite or a real one. As far as like uh, Invicta wise, I don't know if every meteorite they put in there is a genuine piece of meteorite. Some actually say it on the back. This one does not. You see, that one does not say anything about it being genuine meteorite and where they got plucked from. Model 26198. So if you don't, if you're brand new to Invicta, you stumbled upon my channel, this is the first time you're watching uh, my channel or anything like that, or anything Invicta, I'm going to break down the basics for you. It's 52 millimeter case and cradle design. So what I mean by that is Invicta went and put the case, which holds the battery, the movement, the dial, everything is separate from the actual um, case that holds the bracelet or the band in, in this instance and holds the watch on your wrist. So they're two separate entities. So you see here the screws by the uh, IR, the reserve logo, that's holding the movement case to the outer case that holds on the strap or the bracelet. So this makes this subwalk especially such a cool design, so different than anything else you could own. And you see you got the screws here right next to the crown as well. So that alone just makes it super cool. I think that's a great design. Um, this Invicta, like I said, is 52 millimeters. It's about 16 millimeters thick. Um, it fits the wrist perfect. I love this size of watch. This is like my perfect, perfect size. Um, the Chaos is another one that's 50 millimeter that I really, really dig. But um, this watch just fits my wrist perfect. Um, the silicone strap, Invicta used to use poly all the time, polyurethane. And it was like rubber, very stiff. This is very pliable, a lot more comfortable on the wrist. Now, I'm not a strap lover, so this strap is going to go away pretty quick. But um, for now, it's on the strap. And um, I wanted to show it on the strap. 
So I didn't wait to make the video until I had the bracelet. I figured that'd be the upgrade and I'll do that. Um, meteorite dial. I'm, I'm like 80% sure that this is a real meteorite dial. Most of the meteorite dials have that stamped on the case back saying that they're real. This one does not, not a deal breaker. Even if it's fake, it looks the part, but I'm pretty sure it's real. I've never heard of Invicta putting fake meteorite into a watch. So I don't want to put that into the world to where you start doubting your watch is real. Um, I just think they got lazy and didn't put it on the case back is all I'm, I'm, I'm guessing. You've got the intricate design of the uh, pushers that are screwed down. So when you unscrew it, then you can push the button. Right now it's stuck. You cannot do it. Same thing with the crown, which makes the water resistance higher. You got the IR on there. Now this is a screw system for the lug or the bracelet and the strap. So you unscrew this bolt, take it out, and you can remove the strap and put a bracelet on there or just put a different strap, however you want to do it. But it's very simple. There's no spring pins or anything like that. Very straightforward, very easy. All you need is two flathead screwdrivers that are small to get in there, and you're golden. It's that simple. So big shout out to John Gangi, man. I appreciate the watch, brother. Yeah, he said it was pristine, and it is. I can tell he's wore it a couple times, but... Um, nothing a little cleaning could do, didn't uh, fix right away. And that's just from, you know, sweat. You know, when you wear a strapped watch like this, you sweat. And there's a little bit of gunk buildup on the on the straps. No big deal. I've gotten some that were disgusting, and this was by no means disgusting. It was just a little residue. But uh, Tommy Big Time's got OCD with stuff like that, so I cleaned it right away. And that's why you may see a water spot on here, here or there, because I use a toothbrush and dish soap and warm water. And I scrub the watch down. And that's the way I do every watch that I get um, from a collector. I just, it's a habit. I just do it. So, uh, watch is beautiful. Definitely love it. Can't wait to show you guys the upgrade. That video will be coming as soon as I get it. I'm guessing probably two weeks to a month after you see this video, I'll have that bracelet. And I'll have it the video uploaded and uh, up there for you to watch. Any questions, feel free to answer or ask them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer you. Um, this is a Swiss movement, Ronda Z60. And you, can, you can always tell that by the day of the week towards the 9, 10 o'clock. You always have the day of the week there. And that uh, we're, we're 95% of the time with Invicta, that will be a Z60 movement. I think that's all I got to say about this watch. So if you'd like to uh, see more photos of it, I'll do wrist shots and close-up photos. And if not, have a great day. Be safe out there and God bless. <laughs>